Have you ever felt like a dark cloud is hanging over you and no matter what you do, it just won't go away? This is a feeling all too familiar to many of us. It's like being stuck in a gloomy room with no windows, where the sun has forgotten to shine. Welcome to a conversation about something that many of us experience but rarely discuss openly, depression. It's a common yet serious mood disorder that affects how we feel, think and handle daily activities. It's more than just feeling down. It's a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest that can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. Depression doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender or background. It's a universal language of silent suffering and invisible wounds. It's like a thief in the night, stealing away joy, energy and motivation. It can make the simplest tasks seem insurmountable and the brightest days seem dark. However, it's important to remember that it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to not be okay. Because depression is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of being human. And like any other medical condition, it deserves attention and care. The good news is that help is available. Depression is treatable. And there's a variety of effective treatments available from therapy to medication to mindful practices. The first step towards healing is acknowledging the problem and seeking help. It's about breaking the silence and starting the conversation. Depression is indeed a silent battle. It's an ongoing war within the mind, a constant tug of war between hope and despair. Yet it's a battle that can be won. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to reach out. It's okay to talk about it. Depression is a silent battle. But remember, you're not alone in this fight. You are stronger than you think. And it's okay to seek help. Because when we dare to face the darkness, we find that even in the deepest shadows, there is always a glimmer of light. Depression is not simply feeling sad or going through a rough patch. It's a serious mental health condition that requires understanding and medical care. Depression as a term is often loosely used to describe moments of temporary sadness or disappointment. However, it's crucial to differentiate between these fleeting emotions and the debilitating condition that is clinical depression. Depression is more than just feeling low. It's a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest that doesn't go away. It seeps into every aspect of a person's life, from their emotions to their physical health, their relationships, and their ability to carry out even the most basic tasks. Symptoms of depression can vary from person to person, but there are some common signs that we can look out for. These include a constant feeling of sadness, anxiety or emptiness, feeling hopeless or pessimistic, irritability, feelings of guilt, worthlessness or helplessness. A person might lose interest in activities they once enjoyed. They might face difficulties in concentrating, remembering or making decisions, changes in sleep patterns, appetite, energy levels and unexplained physical problems like persistent aches or pains can also be indicators of depression. One of the defining characteristics of depression is its ability to alter a person's functionality. It's not just about how you feel, but how these feelings impede your day-to-day -day life. It could mean struggling to get out of bed, being unable to focus at work or school, withdrawing from social situations, or even neglecting personal hygiene. Depression is not a choice, nor is it a sign of weakness. It's an illness, just like any physical ailment, and it needs to be treated as such. It's not something that you can just snap out of or get over. It's a complex interplay of genetic, biological, environmental, and psychological factors. Depression is a complex disorder, but with understanding we can begin to fight it. Understanding is the first step towards combating depression. It's about recognizing the signs, knowing that it's okay to seek help, and understanding that it's a journey towards recovery, not a destination. Depression is a battle, but it's one that can be won, one step at a time. Depression is not a sign of weakness or something you can just snap out of. Rather, it is a complex condition with several contributing factors that warrant our understanding. Let's delve into the science behind depression. Imagine the human brain as an intricate network of highways, with millions of cars, or neurotransmitters, zipping along these routes. These neurotransmitters, which include serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, play a crucial role in regulating our mood. In the case of depression, there's often a traffic jam. The flow of these neurotransmitters is disrupted, leading to the symptoms we associate with depression. Genetics also play a substantial role. Just as we inherit eye color or height from our parents, we can also inherit a predisposition to depression. 
This doesn't mean that if a parent or sibling has depression, you're destined to have it. Rather, it means that you may be more susceptible to developing the condition. Then there's the environmental component. Factors such as chronic stress, trauma or adverse life events can trigger changes in the brain that can lead to depression. This is where the brain's plasticity, or its ability to change and adapt, can become a double-edged sword. On one hand, it allows us to learn and grow, but on the other hand, it can make us vulnerable to the effects of negative experiences. Also, it's important to note that depression can physically alter the brain. Research has shown that long-term depression can lead to a reduction in the size of certain areas of the brain, emphasizing why early intervention and treatment are so crucial. Lastly, hormones can also play a part. Irregularities in the body's hormonal balance, such as during puberty, pregnancy, postpartum period, and menopause, can contribute to the onset of depression. It's clear that depression is not simply a state of mind, but a condition deeply rooted in our biology and environment. Understanding the science behind depression is a key step in demystifying it and reducing the stigma associated with it. If you're feeling depressed, it's crucial to seek help. This statement, simple as it may sound, is a beacon of truth in the journey towards mental wellness. It's like navigating through a stormy sea. You wouldn't want to brave the waves alone, would you? Depression is a medical condition, just like diabetes or hypertension. It's not something you can simply shake off or snap out of. It needs appropriate attention, understanding, and most importantly, professional help. So what does seeking help look like? Well, it usually begins with the courage to acknowledge what you're going through. It's about releasing the heavy weight of silence and opening up to someone you trust about what you're feeling. This could be a friend, a family member, or a mental health professional. Next comes the step of reaching out to professionals who are trained to help you navigate these turbulent waters. This might be a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a counselor, or a social worker. Their role is to guide you, to understand your experience, and to help you find the most effective path to recovery. Now, the journey to recovery isn't a one-size-fits-all. It's a tailored process that may involve therapy, medication, or a combination of both. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, can help you to challenge negative patterns of thought and behavior. On the other hand, medication like antidepressants can assist in balancing brain chemistry. Seeking help isn't an overnight miracle. It's a process. It's about taking one step at a time, with each step leading you closer to the shore of recovery. And while the journey may be tough, know that you're not alone. There's an entire community of professionals ready to extend their hand to guide you through the storm. Remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards recovery. It's a testament of your bravery, your strength, and your commitment to reclaiming your life from the clutches of depression. So reach out, speak up, and let the world know that you're ready to fight back. Because you are not your depression, you are so much more. While professional help is vital, there are also lifestyle changes you can make that can help combat depression. Let's talk about these healthy habits that can boost your mental health. It's essential to remember that these are not replacements for professional help, but rather tools you can use in your daily life to support your overall well-being. Firstly, regular exercise is incredibly beneficial. Not only does it keep your body healthy, but it also helps to elevate your mood. When you engage in physical activity, your brain releases chemicals known as endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones. You don't have to run a marathon or lift heavy weights. Even a brisk walk around your neighborhood can make a significant difference. Next, let's discuss the importance of a balanced diet. The food we consume plays a vital role in how we feel. Try to eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide the nutrients your brain needs to function optimally. Also, try to limit your intake of processed foods and sugary drinks, as they can lead to energy crashes and mood swings. Sleep is another crucial factor. When we're well rested, we're better equipped to handle the challenges of the day. Try to establish a consistent sleep schedule and create a relaxing bedtime routine. Limit your exposure to screens before bedtime, as the light they emit can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. Lastly, staying connected with your loved ones is vital. Human beings are social creatures, and isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. Reach out to the people you care about, engage in activities you enjoy together, and don't hesitate to express your feelings.
Your loved ones can provide support, companionship, and a listening ear when you need it. So there you have it. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep, and social connections are all important elements in maintaining good mental health. Keep in mind that these tips are not one-size-fits-all solutions, but rather suggestions that you can adapt to fit your lifestyle. Remember, small changes can make a big difference for your mental health. Coping mechanisms are tools that can help you manage and navigate through your depression. Picture yourself in a labyrinthine garden of emotions. There are thorny patches of sadness, foggy corners of anxiety, and seemingly endless trails of despair. But just as you would navigate a physical maze, you can navigate this emotional one. And the tools to do so, coping mechanisms. One of the most powerful tools you can use is mindfulness. This practice involves fully engaging with the present moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's like standing in the center of your labyrinth, taking a deep breath and observing your surroundings. By doing this, you can begin to understand your emotions rather than being controlled by them. Another useful tool is journaling. This is more than just scribbling down your thoughts. It's a way of articulating your feelings, giving them shape and form. It's like mapping out your labyrinth, tracing the paths you've walked and marking the areas you've yet to explore. It's a way of making sense of your emotions, of understanding them better. And then there are creative outlets, painting, writing, music, dance, these are not just hobbies. They are ways of expressing your emotions, of channeling them into something tangible. They are like the vibrant flowers and beautiful statues you place in your labyrinth, transforming it from a place of despair into one of beauty and hope. But remember, coping mechanisms are not one size fits all. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding the right tools for you, the ones that help you navigate your labyrinth in the most effective way possible. It could be mindfulness, journaling, a creative outlet, or something entirely different. The key is to experiment with different tools, to not be afraid of trying new things. Because at the end of the day, finding the right coping mechanism can empower you in your battle against depression. You don't have to fight depression alone. Imagine, if you will, a sturdy building. Now, what makes this structure strong and resilient? It's the support beams, right? They work in harmony, sharing the weight and stress, making the building capable of withstanding storms and tremors. Similarly, in our lives, the role of these support beams is played by our friends, family and support groups. They are the ones who share our burdens, making us resilient in the face of life's many storms, including depression. Having a strong support network is not just about having people to talk to, although that is indeed important. It's about feeling understood, feeling valued, and having a sense of belonging. When we are understood, we feel less alone. When we are valued, our self-worth increases. And when we belong, we realize that our struggles are shared experiences, not solitary battles. Now let's talk about friends and family. They are often our first line of support. They provide a safe space where we can express our feelings without fear of judgment. They offer a listening ear, a comforting hug, or simply their presence when we need it most. But what if our friends or family aren't available or don't understand what we're going through? That's where support groups come in. These are gatherings of individuals who are experiencing similar struggles. They provide a platform for sharing experiences, exchanging tips and offering mutual encouragement. They remind us that we're not alone in our journey, that others have walked the same path and found their way through, and remember, seeking support isn't a sign of weakness. It's an act of courage. It takes bravery to open up about your struggles, to let others in, and to admit you need help. But it's worth it. Because with support, the weight of depression becomes easier to bear. Remember, it's okay to lean on others. We all need help sometimes. Depression can make you feel like you're stuck in a dark tunnel, but remember, there is always light at the end of it. Sometimes it's the stories of others that can ignite that spark of hope within us. Stories of resilience, strength and recovery. Stories that tell us, yes, it's possible. You can do this. You are not alone. Let's talk about Alex. She was just a teenager when depression started to cloud her world. She felt lost, disconnected and overwhelmed. But Alex, she made a choice. She chose to seek help, to understand her feelings and to fight back. Today, she's a successful entrepreneur, using her experience to guide and inspire others. 
Then there's David, a father of two, a loving husband and a dedicated teacher. Depression hit him in his 40s. It was a battle he never expected to fight. But David, he found his strength in his family and his students. He sought therapy, he adopted healthy habits and he learnt to cope. Today, David's story stands as a beacon of hope for many. And let's not forget about Lily. She was in the prime of her career when depression knocked on her door. It was hard, it was debilitating, but Lily, she didn't give up. She embraced her vulnerability, she reached out to her loved ones and she sought professional help. Today, Lily is a thriving artist, painting her journey of recovery through her work. These are just a few of the countless stories of hope and recovery. Stories that remind us that it's okay to struggle, it's okay to seek help and it's okay to talk about it. That it's possible to navigate through the darkness and come out stronger on the other side. Depression is a battle, yes, but it's a battle you don't have to fight alone. And it's a battle you can win. So hold on to that hope. Nurture it, protect it, let it guide you. Remember, no matter how hard things get, never lose hope. You are stronger than you think. Depression is a serious condition, but with understanding help and the right tools, it can be managed. As we wrap up this enlightening journey, let's take a moment to revisit the key points we've discussed. We began by acknowledging the silent battle many face, the invisible struggle that is depression. It's crucial to understand that depression is more than just feeling blue. It's a serious medical condition that impacts both physical and mental health. We delved into the science behind depression, exploring the role of neurotransmitters, hormones and brain structures. This understanding underscores the fact that depression isn't a sign of weakness or a character flaw. It's a complex interplay of biological and environmental factors. Seeking help, we emphasized, is not a sign of weakness, but an act of strength. There's a plethora of professional assistance available, from therapists to support groups, medication to mindfulness techniques. Reaching out for help is the first step towards healing. We talked about the importance of cultivating healthy habits for mental health. Regular physical activity, a balanced diet, adequate sleep and mindfulness practices can all contribute to better mental health. We also discussed coping mechanisms, tools that can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. These can be as simple as deep breathing exercises, journaling, or as involved as cognitive behavioral therapy. The importance of support cannot be overstated. A strong support network, be it friends, family, or professional, can provide much needed comfort and guidance. Finally, we left you with a message of hope. Depression might seem like a dark cloud that never lifts, but remember, there's always a silver lining. With the right help and resources, it's entirely possible to manage depression and lead a fulfilling life. Now, it's over to you. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression, don't hesitate to seek help. Share this video with those who might benefit from it. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You're not alone in this battle. Stay strong and keep fighting.